So in this Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video, I bring you a complete guide on the Ymir quest line. Along the way you earn some incredible loot, many weapons, talismans, armors and more. Now this is a start to finish guide. No routes skipped and nothing speeded up. Well, there's one thing speeded up. But other than that, this is a complete guide start to finish. And as usual, everything will be timestamped down below. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ. And if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this quest will take you a couple of hours for sure. But it's definitely worth it in my opinion. The ultimate end game goal of this quest sees you getting one of the best weapons from this DLC in the Sword of Night. Not only does this weapon look absolutely fantastic, its unique skill sees you infuse the weapon with the Dark of Night before unleashing an unblockable attack. But it's not just this you get along the way, you also get the Crimson Seed Talisman Plus One. The beloved Stardust, the Cerulean Seed Talisman Plus One, the Maternal Staff, the High Priest Armor Set, the Claws of Night, as well as the Remembrance of the Mother of Fingers, which can be used at the round table with Finger Reader to get either the Gazing Finger or the Staff of the Great Beyond. Also keep in mind that when it comes to getting the Sword of Night, you do have another option here where you can pick and get the Fire Knight Quilleen Spirit Ash. But this depends on the offering you give, which we will get into later on. So this quest starts at the Cathedral of Manus Meter. This means you have to progress the DLC. Now you can actually get to this point by clearing through Castle Enus and taking on Rulena Twin Moon Knight. But it's also guys a way to skip this boss fight entirely and still get this weapon. Now the skip method and how you skip Relena Twin Moon Knight I'll link in the video description. But for the purposes of this guide we will start the process properly from the castle front grace point making our way to Relena Twin Moon Knight and taking her on. So for those who haven't done this yet, from that castle front grace, follow this path I take on the screen now to that Rulena boss fight. Now this will be the only path in this video that I semi speed up because I'm thinking most players by now have got to this point and have probably already gotten past Rulena. Okay, so this is where that Rulena boss fight happens, and upon you taking her on and taking her out, you can now push forward into a new area to you all called Skadu Altus, and onto that high road cross Grace Point.
Now from this grace point guys, we're going to meet the NPC of Ymir, which starts off this quest line. He's located within the Cathedral of Manus Meter, and it's quite a trek from this high road grace, but following the path I take on screen now, you'll get here no problem. Now there are a few graces you will stop by and trigger along the way uh, for the players new to this area. Namely, the Morph Ruins, the Bonnie Village Grace, which we need to come back to later on, and then onto the final grace of the Cathedral of Manus Meter. So, yeah, follow the path I take on screen now, guys.
Okay, so you will eventually get to the cathedral. Uh, here, guys, you want to head into it and speak to Ymir. Here he gives you the whole laden necklace and a map. The map is basically a brief description of where you have to go next. Also worth noting that with this NPC, once you clear out his dialogue, it does become a vendor allowing you to purchase certain spells from him. Okay, so from this point guys, we need to go and find the finger ruins of Aria. And this path starts off from that castle front grace point. Now along the way we unlock a few graces here, which for those of you who have already come across these graces, you can use the timestamps down below to skip to them, saving you some time with this guide. But if you're new to this, uh, we are heading to that finger ruins of Ria, and along the way we'll go past a few graces, namely the Elek River grace, uh, the Elek River downstream grace, and then onto the Cerulean Coast grace, then the Cerulean Coast West grace, then the Cerulean Coast Cross grace, and then to the finger ruins of Ria grace.
Okay, so when you eventually get to that finger runes of rear grace, you now have to run down to this area and then sound this hanging bell or finger. And this will reward you that crimson seed talisman plus one. Okay, so from here guys, you need to head back to that Cathedral of Manus Meter and then speak to Ymir. Upon you doing this, he gives you the ruined second map and the beloved Stardust Talisman. Again, he'll clear out all of his dialogue and then he'll have new spells for you to indeed purchase. Now, once you are done with him, just nearby is another NPC called Yolan. He'll clear out her dialogue too. Okay, so from here guys, we're going to go and get an important gesture that we need to use later on in this quest. So head back to that Bonnie Village Grace we activated earlier. Then guys, follow this short path and grab this old mother gesture. Okay, so our next objective is to find the Finger Ruins of Deho to progress this quest further on. So go back to that Cathedral of Manus Meter Grace and follow this path I take on screen now, unlocking the Church District High Road Grace and then the Church District Entrance Grace.
Okay, so you are now within the Shadow Keep. And here, guys, you have to maneuver our way through using hidden paths to find that finger ruins of Dale. Within this area, I will first show you how to remove that water, so do that first. Then progress on to the specimen storehouse back section, Grace. Okay, so from here guys, we have to climb a ladder and make our way around to the storehouse Loft Grace. So follow where I go on screen now. Okay, so from this grace we have to take part in a little jumping and climbing. Nothing hard at all, just be careful. Following the path I take on screen now will lead you to the Shadow Keep Back Gate Grace.
Okay, so once you are here within this room to your right hand side, uh, you will see a statue. In front of this statue, you need to use that old mother gesture, and this will open up a secret path. So once this is opened up, head into it and it is the scared of you area where you want to push onto that hinterland grace and then onto that hinterland bridge grace but be careful of the two sentinels that are here. And from this grace guys, follow the path I take on screen now to that finger ruins of Deo and again, sound that hanging bell or finger. Okay, so you are done here guys, and now you want to head back to that Cathedral of Manus Mita uh, and speak to Ymir. Here he will give you the third ruins map, 
and here again guys you want to clear out all of his dialogue leaving none in his options also he does have a new spell for you to purchase too from this point also go to Yolan just nearby and clear out all her dialogue too I told you once. I've noticed. once done reload back into the cathedral of menace meter grace and you will notice that Ymir has gone here guys go up to his throne and interact with it this will open up a secret path Now you want to take this ladder down. Now as soon as you get down here you will be invaded by uh, the sword hand of Night Anna and upon you defeating her and taking her out you are rewarded the claws of night. Here guys you want to push on where you'll eventually get to another finger bow to interact with. And in doing so guys it spawns you into a boss fight, the boss of Meter Mother of Fingers. Now I won't lie, I thought this boss was going to be a lot more difficult than it actually was. But upon you taking this boss out you get its remembrance. So from here guys activate that grace and head back to the cathedral of Manus Meter uh, and from here head to that throne chair again and here guys you will be invaded by the sword hand of night Yolan. Here upon you taking her out Ymir will spawn back in and this is another boss fight but it's so so easy. Here guys you take him out. Now upon you taking him out you get uh, the high priest armor, the Ymir's bow bearing and the maternal staff. Now from here guys you want to reload back into this grace again, the cathedral of Manus Meter. And upon doing this you'll see Yolan in her normal spot where you can now interact with her. Now you can give her one of two items which she basically trades with you before she dies. And this is the choice between a Sword of Night and a Fire Knight, uh, Kuilin Spoo Ash. But you can only take one of these. I recommend you taking the sword, but ultimately is your choice. But to even trade with her, there's two more things you need to collect. One gives you the uh, summon and the other one gives you the sword. So the two items in which you can trade with her are the Iris of Grace and the Iris of Occultation. So where do you get these items from? Well firstly the Iris of Grace. This one is found within the Shadow Keep, but you need to use the front entrance to get this item. So from the High Road Cross Grace, follow this path into the Shadow Keep. Now we'll warn you to progress this way, you have to defeat and take on the Golden Hippopotamus boss.
So this is where that encounter with a golden hippo kicks off. And once you have defeated him, follow the path I take on the screen now to grab this Iris of Grace. Next up, the Iris of Occultation. So this one's a little easier to get. It doesn't require you to take on any hippos, and this one rewards you the sword, which in my opinion is definitely the better option to take. So from the Morph Highway South Great, which by the way will be a grace you come to if you use my Rulana skip video. Uh, but yeah, from this grace, guys, follow the path I take on screen now. Now there is an enemy you have to take on to get this drop, but it isn't very hard at all. So those are the irises, now you can make your choice on which reward you want. Uh, simply return to Johan and select the right option again, the occultation gives you the sword and the grace gives you that summon, the choice is yours. And there we have it guys, the quest is now over. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.